Folks, please welcome our third speaker, Brad Sandler. Does anyone in the room like to have less stress? <laughs> Fellow Toastmasters, DTM Esposito, Division Governor, and guest. So about 18 months ago, I went with my parents to this potluck, and I didn't know what type of potluck it was going to be. I was out in Colorado, and they go to these vegetarian, vegan meetup things, and I'm just like, all right, I'll go. Just time to, I can spend with the family. So we go out there, and my parents provided a third of the food, someone else provided a third of the food, and I got there, it was kind of weird. The crowd was kind of strange. The group had a lot of older people. The group had a lot of homeless people. And I've come to know that it was kind of a charity thing where some people provide the food. I guess my parents were part of that. And there was a speaker there. And I had no idea what he was going to talk about. But it was really intriguing. And he spoke about gratitude, stress, happiness, and all sorts of things that people have to deal with. And I never knew any of these strategies. And it was just foreign to me. And normally I don't care because I'm just there to support the family, just to hang out. I haven't seen them that much because they're in Colorado and I'll be in Florida. So the guy starts talking and I find out it's a group for widowers and widow ease, if that's what they call. And how to be happy when you're in that time of need. But the same elements could actually help you when you're not in that situation. So the guy starts talking about Colorado. And if you don't familiar with Colorado, the state's elevated and there's a lot of mountains. And the people in Colorado, generally speaking, have a higher level of happiness because you go outside and you see mountain ranges and you're kind of in touch with nature. I don't know if it's being 10 degrees below zero to 100 degrees, depending where you are, that makes you feel more in touch with nature. To me, I feel, I feel that way. But anyways, so they start talking about just being outside, seeing the mountains, going on hikes, makes you feel happier because you're in touch with nature. Then the guy starts going over stress and how to deal with stress. And he was going over, if you're a smoker and you smoke cigarettes to deal with stress <coughs> and you don't smoke, but you have a lot of stress, you're actually sicker from the stress than smoking prevent the stress. And I thought that was mind-blowing. It's like, it's healthier to smoke than have a lot of stress. <laughs> Some of the things the guy mentioned was, you can listen to classical music. So I tried this out, listening to classical music, and it didn't really do anything. <laughs> if I was stressed out and I'm listening to classical music, it was just there, just, I don't know, maybe you have to listen to it live. I don't know. Maybe, maybe some of you guys listen to classical music and get that same effect. Another thing he mentioned was gratitude. And what I realized was gratitude, people throw that word around, gratitude, but actually doing something about it changes the way gratitude works. And I actually tried the gratitude, and the way I used it was I bought a journal, a gratitude journal, and you write five things you're grateful for in the morning. The next day, you write five more, but three of them have to be completely different. What this does, it changes the way your mind sees things. And it probably takes three weeks, four weeks, and you start thinking in terms of gratitude, instead of the other way around. So typically, if you're meeting a friend for lunch or dinner, and they're five, 10 minutes late, you can be frustrated how late they are. But if you're thinking in terms of gratitude, you're appreciative and you're grateful that someone's meeting you for lunch or dinner. It just totally changes your mindset. And 
after you start practicing gratitude, you can see people and friends and family that aren't grateful. And usually they're the ones who see the glass half empty instead of the glass half full. So I didn't know this guy was gonna talk about gratitude and I didn't know I was actually gonna try it and change it, but it was a huge epiphany just seeing and trying to do this gratitude journal. The last thing the guy mentioned was to get out and socialize. Because if you stay in, especially this crowd, which was in the older age and widower age, and they don't really socialize. They could get beat to themselves, they could be trapped. Just get out, go do something, be grateful, go and take on hikes. And if you go ahead and you're just grateful for everything, I guess listen to classical music <laughs> while you're being grateful, and you go ahead and socialize, you end up being a happier person. Bell Toast Masters. <laughs>